hey guys welcome back to my country kitchen and if you are new on my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell beside it as well so that you don't miss any of my uploads in today's video we're going to be making some saltfish jamaican style with some fried dumplings or johnny cake whichever one you call it so let's get right into the video So guys, if you're making this and you're not confident enough to use the baking powder, then this self-rising flour is the best one for you. But in my video today, I'm going to be using the all-purpose flour. And I'm going to be using 5 cups of all-purpose flour. And to that 5 cups of all-purpose flour, I am going to add 3 tablespoons of sugar, which is quite optional. You don't have to. And I'm going to use a tablespoon of salt and 2 tablespoons of baking powder. Sometimes I add butter, but today I won't be adding any butter, all right? So I'm just going to mix it up to make sure that everything is well cooperated. If I am at just at home making fried dumplings, I don't do any measurement, but most time people want the exact measurement. And for this five cups of flour, I added two cups of water. Yes, sometimes I use warm milk when I'm making my fried dumplings. It just gives it an extra flavor to me. But today we're just using plain old water. And I'm just going to knead that up until the, my dough is nice and soft and tacky, not sticky. It should be tacky but not sticking to your hands. So I'm just going to cover that, set that aside and move on to my saltfish. And the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I rinse out all the salt from my saltfish. So for me, when I'm boiling my saltfish, I like to boil it for like five minutes, throw that water off and catch some fresh water on that and then boil it again for another five minutes. So for my saltfish, I'm just adding it to the boiling water and I'm just going to turn the stove down as soon as it starts to boil because it will boil over and mess up your entire stove. So while that is boiling, I'm just going to go ahead and prepare all my veggies and I'm going to be using tomatoes, scallions, onions, scotch bonnet peppers, bell peppers and that's it. That's all I need in my saltfish. I don't need anything else. So now that my saltfish is cooked, I'm just going to strain it off. I am going to remove the scales and remove as much bone as possible because it's very hard to like take out all the bones but I'm going to remove as much bones as possible. So as soon as my saucepan is hot, I go in with my oil and your oil all depends on the amount of fish that you're preparing. I'm just going to saute my onion scallions and some of my tomatoes and peppers. So now I'm just going to cover my pot and allow it to simmer on medium heat until all my onions are translucent. Then I'm going to go in and add my fish and my remaining veggies. So for my saltfish, I only add black pepper. That's the only thing that I add to it. After adding my vegetables and my ground seasoning, the only thing that I like to add is black pepper some people will add seasonings powdered seasonings it's all dependent on your taste and what you like but this is just what i do and that's just black pepper and that's it and i just cover it to let it simmer for about another two minutes and then my selfish is ready now i'm gonna move on to my fried dumplings and for that I am just going to add my oil and allow it to heat up and then I'm going to go over and show you how I roll out my fried dumplings. 
so my dough was resting for about an hour so and that's how i like it because i don't like to just knead it and fry it at the same time you don't get the same you don't get the same texture and the texture that you're looking for for your fried dumpling should be just like this it should be nice and soft and tacky but not sticky i don't like to just knead it and fry it right away you don't get the same the same result when you do that so all i'm doing here is just pinching off my desired size and then i just pinch and tuck or you can just roll it that's the same thing and i have this plate already dusted with flour so that my dumplings don't stick to it so i'm just going to do a whole plate bring it over to the stove and then i do my second set so to test my oil i just normally pinch off a piece of the dough drop it in the oil to see how hot it is i know i am old-fashioned <laughs> i grew up with my grandmother and sometimes you just adapt certain things and that's just how i test my oil if the fried dumpling floats up right away that means your oil is too hot if it sink for a few seconds and then take it time and rise then you know you have the right temperature to put your dumplings in and i'm just gonna fry each side until it's golden brown and then I remove them from the stove. So guys, all my dumplings are ready. And I have some boiled dumpling over there as well and my saltfish so I'm about to eat my dinner and remember we're all Jamaicans and this can be breakfast for us as well I just want to say thank you guys so much for clicking on my video don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section and subscribe please if you haven't subscribed as yet and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys